Elmer and Wilbur by David McKee. Elmer the Patchwork Elephant was waiting for his cousin Wilbur, who was coming to visit him. He's late, said Elmer. Perhaps he's lost. Let's go and look for him. What does Wilbur look like? asked an elephant. Wait and see, chuckled Elmer, but be careful. Wilbur likes to play tricks, especially with his voice. He's a ventriloquist. He can make his voice sound as if it's coming from a different place to where he is, from anywhere. This is fun, said an elephant, and they started a search. It's like hide and seek. Suddenly they heard, yo ho! I'm over here. They rushed to where the voice came from. Looking for me? Asked a rather surprised tiger. Sorry, said Elmer. We thought you were my cousin. Very funny, Elmer, said the tiger. Perhaps that's your cousin. I can hear shouting. Help, called the voice. Help, I've fallen in the pond. He has, he has, I can see him, said an elephant. Silly, said Elmer, that's your own reflection. Keep looking. He's near, but not where his voice is. They kept looking, and all the time they looked, the voice came from different places. It called, Hoo-wee, here I am, or boo, to make them jump. It even came from a rabbit down, down a rabbit hole. The rabbits popped out saying, that's not very funny. That's not funny at all. That's very silly. After a lot of searching, an elephant said, We'll never find him, Elmer. Let's give in. Wilbur, called Elmer. You give in. You can, we, we give in. You can come out now. I can't. I'm stuck up a tree, Wilbur's voice said from above them. The elephants giggled. He's very clever, said one. If you don't come down, said Elmer, we'll have to go home without you. I really am stuck up a tree, said Wilbur's voice. The elephants giggled again. Elmer, said an elephant, is Wilbur black and white? Yes, why, said Elmer. I peeped, said an elephant. He really is stuck up a tree. They all looked. There was Wilbur up a tree. Wilbur, gasped Elmer. How did you get up there? Never mind how I got up. How do I get down, said Wilbur. I have no idea, said Elmer, but we're hungry, so we're going home for tea. At least we know where you are now. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you tomorrow. With that, Elmer started to lead the other elephants away. Oh, Elmer, called Wilbur, don't leave me. I'm starving. Ha ha, I was just teasing, laughed Elmer, turning back to Wilbur. If you walk along the branch, it will bend down with your weight, and we can help you down. Wilbur walked slowly along the branch. The branch began to bend down when the elephants could reach. They pulled the branch the rest of the way and helped Wilbur off. Thanks, said Wilbur. Now, where's that tea you were talking about? Then laughing and joking together, they raced all the way home. That night, as they lay down to sleep, Elmer said, Good night, Wilbur. Good night, moon. A voice that seemed to come from the moon said, Good night, elephant. Sweet dreams. Elmer smiled and whispered, Wilbur, how did you get up that tree? But Wilbur was already asleep. The end.